And you can see the sharp decline in the last four years. And it looks as if our regional cut is pretty much 25% across the board. But some areas are going to have to cut more and some areas are going to cut less because the metric they're using is gallons per capita per day. What we found with gallons per capita per day are those areas with large lots, a lot of vegetation, they typically use more water. They are watering more yard. And so you have areas such as the La Cunadas, uh, the Beverly Hills, that with the larger lot sizes, they're going to have a challenge. They've been asked to cut back 35 percent. Nearly 50 percent of the state of California is in that highest category. Now, droughts don't occur overnight. And I wanted to walk us through the evolution. It is a lot of our economy that is based on usage of water. We have just come out of a tremendous recession in California, economic, and I wouldn't even say we've entirely come out of it. There's certainly a lot of impacts across the board. And so they are trying to make measured cuts that achieve high levels of water conservation, but also protect the economy. And that, that's the balance. And, and you heard that debate. Acre feet, like they did last year. I don't think we can hit a level four because we're already doing so much and we'll get fined. The other senior water rights holders on the Colorado River don't go over their allocation on the Colorado River. We should be making decisions based on what we have control of. And that's the amount of water we have in storage and the allocation that we request customers to cut back. With persistent dry conditions, and record-breaking temperatures. Consider the economic impact if we don't maintain supply going into the future. That certainly would be much greater than not taking steps now to ensure that we will have a reliable supply going into the future. That motion does pass, and so this uh, particular motion will be uh, forwarded to uh, tomorrow's board meeting for uh, approval.